Conspiracy theories. We know them, we love them sometimes, and sometimes they're just a little bit too crazy, right? Today, I wanted to look over this video because I saw it uh, in my recommended, and this is from a channel called Export Error Music. Uh, and plus, I want to really dive into more Nikkei stuff. I, I really do enjoy doing more uh, Nikkei content, and I've had my own theories about the game as well. So I wanted to see if any of these line up with my own theories about Nikkei and really wanted to dive into it. Uh, now, bear in mind, this will also be at two times speed because I want to make sure that this video isn't like 50 minutes long of me just, you know, yapping and everything. But I also want to be sure to give this person credit for the video. Uh, link is down in the description, obviously, right? So uh, before we get into that, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, get yourself some gamer subs, use code Tystra for 10% off. I got to find my little thing and do a boom right there. Code Tyser for 10% off. I'm actually drinking some nuclear bomb sickle made by uh, Queso and Gamersup. So cheers. Mm. Got to wet my whistle before we start. So, without any further delay, let's go ahead and dive into this video, right? Because I'm, I'm, I'm pretty, I'm pretty stoked on it. I'm pretty stoked. I'm really starting to get worried, Neon. I'm worried too. She hasn't killed me in like five days. Something must be really wrong with her. Dude, you think we should call Ingrid? Don't call Ingrid. She's Dan Anderson, who's a failed clone. <laughs> Hold on. Well, I know I just said that I have it on two times speed, but let's go ahead and dive it back down to 1.5 because, wow, it's like talking to chipmunks. And the legendary commander is actually Chatterbox. And Chatterbox is going to transform into a white. Rappy's losing her absolute oh, mind. You would do that, Anise. Or should I say, former pop idol pretty? I thought her name was supposed to be Beauty, as in Beauty and the Beast. The jury's still out on that. And given the track record of the English localization and voice direction team, there's like a 50 50 chance they're going to screw it up somehow. First off, I'm sure Shift Up. Okay, let, let, let's get to the actual and my thing. My backstory is that I was either a pop star when I was alive, or I'm the first Nikkei celebrity and former idol, pretty. Possibly. So I don't know anything about pretty. I don't know anything about uh, this idol thing, but. Um, I guess a lot of people have pointed out that she could have been the first, like, big idol in the, um, in the outpost? Would it be the outpost? Yeah. Or the arc. Sorry, the arc. Um, so I, I, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not super big into this theory, uh, because I don't really know any of that. I gotta research that a little bit. Somebody also named Beauty. Um, Anise, this probably wasn't a good one to start with if you want to convince Rappy her conspiracy theories aren't true. Crap, I really shouldn't have put that first. Exactly. There's a mountain of evidence. You being Mustang's favorite, and him asking you to return to the spotlight, your advice session centered around an old idol group, and in your first time of- That's where it is. I need to actually look at her advisors and all that stuff. Your hunger when you were watching your weight in a previous career. Okay, it can roll into S-tier. There's still debate over the specifics. Like, if I- I could honestly believe it because there's a lot of stuff that go towards, uh, Anise. And with Anise being kind of a like fan favorite fan favorite fan favorite i could believe her being like a mysterious idol and stuff but i don't know i just uh i can't speak on it because like i said i don't really know about uh the whole pretty thing so Rappo, let's talk about your backstory rappy how about the theory that you're freesia it's true i am freesia no you're not says who the devs they literally shot down the theory in an interview just a few months after the red ash event they okay so i didn't know that i honestly thought that uh rappy was freesh uh freesia um right when red ash came out i was like oh shoot that's rappy but apparently it's not and the devs have shot it down so that's pretty crazy i also felt the need to shut down the theory that alice is freesia which didn't even make sense since alice's bond story yeah i don't know why they even would say at, like alice was freesia except for just the bunny ears and that was enough to baselessly say freesia was alice but since the devs have officially shot down both theories this goes in s-tier yep. what about neon huh she's actually a spy how's that a theory I've been saying I'm a spy since we first met. Think about it, Anise. In the latest chapters, she has these strange super glasses that give mm -hmm. her abilities she didn't even know she had. And it makes sense. Su supervision. In case Red Hood ever went wild. Face it, Anise. I'm a spy. S tier. You aren't a spy. If Ingrid actually wanted you to keep an eye on Red Hood, she'd have given you better instructions. And as far as we know so far, there's no indication she did or that she. So here's my thing about Neon. And I think I've said this before. She's really dumb, but I think she plays it up. I think that honestly, Neon has some sort of hidden uh, mission for herself, and we're only going to find out later on. Um, I don't think that she's just the dumb character. I think that she does have dumb qualities, and she's being herself personally. But there is some sort of hidden mission with her. I don't know. Maybe I'm maybe I'm crazy for this one, but I actually believe that she is a spy. I don't know if for Ingram or Ingram Ingrid, uh, but I do believe that Neon could be a spy, like an actual spy. She doesn't trust Rappy to be honest about the state of Red Hood. B tier, and that's being generous. Well, I have one theory you can't deny. The legendary commander is Anderson. Yeah. She's got you there, Anise. You're not helping me on. Yeah, I mean, that's. I already believe that. Commander or a son or 
Okay, fine. Yes, it's almost guaranteed Anderson is the legendary commander. He looks identical, yep. he has the sunglasses, he shares the same voice actor, and yep. knowledge and a connection. That's not even a theory. That's all that's practically confirmed at that point. That is practically confirmed. Commander is a clone of Anderson. It's also S tier. Whoa, slow down. So this one I actually do think is possible because of the fact that they share the same blood type. Now, this blood type, if you don't know, is uh, RHX, I think is what it's called, if I remember correctly. Um, which I thought stood for like Red Hood of some sort, but it doesn't. Uh, so this blood type is used for what's called Vapaus in the actual game, which is a uh, compound that can be put into a bullet and basically render heretics like dead on arrival. You know, so Vapaus is very powerful within the story, right? Now, the thing of it is, is that both the legendary, well, not the legendary commander, but Anderson and our main protagonist, the commander, share this same blood type. Now, it's very weird because also Anderson is very, like, into what the commander's doing all the time. He really does care about the commander. So either the commander is his son and it's not said like outright or he's a clone i honestly think that it could be his son and that anderson just didn't want to tell him that that like i'm your dad you know so that's just me though that's just me down that's not as clear cut the identical rare blood type the amnesia and anderson's special interest make it clear the commander is a clone there are other possible explanations yeah he could be anderson's son maybe even a secret love child between anderson and lilywise that last one is and lilywise that'd be so sick there are potential alternate explanations and without knowing for certain anderson's i can't remember can nikkei's actually reproduce i don't think so i don't think that's possible but yeah Entity, it makes determining the commanders more difficult the commander's early memories of that mysterious girl also add some questions to the clone theory it's still a tier fine but just because that theory is likely doesn't mean they all are i have my theories about who the mysterious girl is um i'm pretty sure i'm not correct but um i i've even made a joke before like what if that was rappy <laughs> like what if that was rappy back in the day and they were friends and then rappy turned into uh uh this uh nike and all that stuff i don't know i don't I, I don't remember the manufacturing time of when Rappy actually became Rappy. Um, but it would be funny as hell if we find out that the mysterious girl was Rappy back in the day before she became a Nikkei. I mean, what's this note, Rappy? Again, I, I, again, I don't know if that's confirmed, by the way. I don't know. I don't know. Well, confirmed as in, like, she became a Nikkei around the same time, like, the commander was dealing with the stuff. Um, this is literally just me spitballing verbal diarrhea. So... Don't flame me in the comments. This one is dumb. I can already look at this picture and it's dumb. Just because somebody shares the same hair color and eye color does not mean they're related. It's so stupid. Lee-wise, how does that make sense? They both have the same hair and eye color. That's it? What more do you need? I feel like half the Nikkei fan base applies that same logic to every character that has the same hair color. I mean, what's next? Shifty is actually Helm's daughter? Yes. And don't you see? The Rapture stole Lily Wise's head, made a clone, and the clone escaped to Eden. No, there's no evidence that no. this is related to Lily That's Wise. stupid. Aside from the unusual hair and eye color match. I'll put it in D tier on the off chance your crazy head cloning idea is true. But mostly because... I would, I would seriously just put that in F tier personally. I think that that's dumb. Like, just because they look the same does not mean they are the are related. And again, I don't think Nikkei's could reproduce. So maybe, yeah, they could have taken her blood and, like, made Cecil. But I, I highly, highly doubt that that's even a thing. Because the continue the bloodline jokes would be hilarious if the theory turned out to be right. Let's mix things up and reveal the truth about some raptures next. For instance, Chatterbox is a failed male Nikkei experiment that's been corrupted. Makes sense to me. He can talk. That doesn't mean he's a Nikkei. The only rapture line mm. questions we've seen talk are corrupted Nikkeis, i.e. heretics. Why wouldn't it make sense that Chatterbox is a heretic? Specifically, a male Nikkei. I mean, yes, that's true. But there are other possibilities. But it's not impossible. See tier. He might... I, uh, I don't know about that one. It's tough because, again, like, yeah, he's, he's the only male voiced uh nikkei slash rapture um so yeah i think i think it's possible they have like we haven't really gone into chatterbox's backstory so yeah and honestly all nikkeis are female so it's weird to have a male antagonist of some sort uh being chatterbox so it's possible i can't i can't disagree with that um very weird if it is true though like the the reason why they chose not to do male Nikkeis is because of something that causes them to turn into freakishly crazy people. 
might even be the legendary commander that's been corrupted. That's insane. Don't try and pile even more crazy on. Take your seat here and be happy. Keep your voice down, Anise. She's listening. Who's she? Anik, who's actually Sixo. I mean, that's probably true. We know Sixo is an entity that exists only online. Enik, if Enik is Sixo, that's insane. Anise everywhere. It's got to be Enik. It'd be pretty lazy for Shift Up to build up this. It would be very lazy, yeah. To be a character we already know, and even if Sixo is an already existing character, there are other possibilities. Hell, it could be Mustang. He already has his fingers in the underworld and is probably the most powerful member of the Big Three. Well, I agree. It would be nice to have a new proper villain in the arc that isn't an emo terrorist with the worst SSR skill kit in the game. Sixo being Enik. Yeah, emo emo terrorist being the worst SSR. You can't tell, but it's probably Crow. <laughs> it, it is Crow, for sure. Um, Crow is terrible. Um, and I hate Crow. Honestly, I think it's somebody that has close ties to Crow or could honestly be Crow. I, I don't know. Because we haven't heard from Crow in so long. We haven't heard any updates about her being in the re re uh, rehabilitation center. So, I mean, it could be Crow. Um, I don't think it's Enoch because Enoch has no reason to be 6-0. Absolutely none. Um, she already, like... The only reason why she was even, like, with, like, working with Chatterbox and giving Nikkei's out and stuff like that to be uh, fed to him. The sole reason for that was to protect the Ark and keep the Raptures away from the Ark. That's not a thing anymore. Like, Enoch has no reason to do that anymore because she truly believes that the Commander can save humanity. So, I don't think, it, I don't think Enoch is 6-0. You would explain a lot. See to your Neon, you've never sounded smart. Don't you mean sounded so smart? No, but your sudden burst of active brain cells is a huge plot twist. A surprise. Like the good guy being the villain. And even more likely, the villain being a good guy, just like Oswald. You think Oswald is a good guy? We better this... tell Dorsey to call mm. him in that case. Listen, he locked out the goddess squad to protect them. He knew if they came into the Ark, they'd I think this is possible, them. actually. He locked them out to protect them and use them to eventually fight the Ark. Well, I knew he wasn't all bad after that Red Ash event. His theory is S-tier. Slow down, Neon. While Red Ash does establish that Oswald admired the goddess squad, that doesn't mean he knew what the Ark's power supply was or that he intended to use the squad to destroy it. But the reason he gave to Dorothy for shutting the door turned out not to be true. He said the Ark's technology was advancing and they would soon be able to build stronger Nikes than the goddess squad. But even at the time, he had to know that wouldn't be possible and Red Ash is clearly trying to repaint his character as a good guy. Exactly. While the specific might be unclear what is clear is that oswald had an ulterior motive to lock out the goddess yeah top of b tier uh, i i think that it's highly possible because we don't get a lot of oswald in general and when we did it was very conflicting because we know that he's the one who gave the bad news to the goddess squad of being locked out but we also know that in red ash he was a big fan of red hood so maybe he was doing something to keep the goddess squad out solely because he wanted to protect them and he knew that they could fend for themselves um, however, it's kind of tough because it's like, if you wanted that, it, like, even if you knew that the arc was bad, right. Or had its issues, like keeping the goddess squad out would have been a very, like, it's a bad call in general. I feel like the goddess squad being in there would be a good thing, uh, to be able to help train up the next, uh, set of Nikkei's and help like progress in, in that regard. I don't know. It's just weird to me. Um, cause if there is something with Oswald, then yeah, like, I don't know. I'm still, get, I'm still trying to get like a, a better understanding of Nikkei lore, but Oswald being a good guy is highly possible, but, um, the reasons are still very, very unknown. This isn't going how I planned. Okay. How about a theory I know isn't true? Nylister is Red Hood or at least is made up. That's just red stupid. Sense. They're both red. They're both got red hair and giant boobies. No. Just because they ha both have the same color red hair and giant boobies does not mean that they are, like, in any relation related. Remember how I talked in the Cecil theory about how the player base thinks anything that's the same color must be related? Yeah, this is that. Sorry, Rappy. It makes no sense that Nihilister is Red Hood. First, you already have Red Hood's core in you. And more importantly, mm -hmm. we already know some of Nihilister's backstory, and it has nothing to do with Red Hood. Act here. Mm -hmm. Well, if Nihilister isn't Red Hood, then Grave must be peening. Again, there's basically zero evidence for that, except for the matching. So, so, I, so this was, when was this posted up? Two weeks ago. Okay, so this was two weeks ago, right? And two weeks ago, we didn't have the stuff that was talked about in the recent chapters, right? Um, I've only been, I've only completed chapter 31 because I'm not powerful enough to get through chapter 32. But there are some things that are confirmed with Grave. Grave is a mass produced Nike, which so was Pine. And she was there a hundred years ago with the Goddess Squad. Not with them, but it is confirmed that she's been in her role as a Nikkei for a hundred years. 
Isn't it possible that Pine is actually grave? Now, this was brought up to me before chapters 31 and 32. Somebody brought up this fan theory and said that they really wanted this to be a thing. And I do too. I think that it's highly possible because of the fact that we've seen Modernia come back as Marion and turned good, right? So we have that as an example. We also have the possibility, like I haven't beaten chapter 32, so I don't know, of Anashiro being good again. Is it not possible for Nikes to get out of corruption? And technically, it's very ambiguous, but it wasn't confirmed that Pine actually died that day. Just like Marion was never confirmed. I'm just saying. I think that Pine is grave. After all, after looking at all the details and stuff like that, I think that there's a very big possibility that PNA is back. Could you imagine the story that we're going to see if it's true? And then Dorothy meets Grave and realizes that it's PNA. That'd be insane. That'd be insane. That she has one of the seven dwarfs, which suggests she has a connection to the goddess squad. However, there are plenty of other possible explanations, including her being a failed Grimm's model, small white old body before her mind switch, or just an entirely new character. So it's extremely unlikely, but not impossible like the Nihilist your theory. Sounds like B tier. You're just saying that because you're being controlled by aliens, which is ironic because my latest theory says raptures aren't actually aliens, like the central world. That's it. Yeah, that's there has been a theory since before the game even launched that the raptures are actually a creation by humans that got out of control. However, while the central government does lie about basically everything, there are still some problems. I I don't believe this one. I think this is all over the world before. I don't I don't believe that one invasion and not just media organizations that might have been able to be controlled but also random civilians who had no reason to lie about what they were seeing you have to admit though the latest story bits surrounding the arcs power source raises a lot of questions about the true origins of the raptures on the arc not to mention the mystery surrounding how Nikkei's and raptures are made it's at least C tier and it brings me to my final greatest theory that the power source of the arc is the rapture queen oh my gosh I knew it you could you imagine the twist like I'm not I'm not I'm not saying that this is something to where like, could you imagine that twist? I, I, I think I'd actually be kind of mad about that. I'd be like, it's, it's like, it's literally just like the, free, the SpongeBob and Patrick would be the maniacs in the mailbox. You know, it's exactly that. It's like the rapture queen is in the arc. You know, like I, I, I don't believe this one to be the actual thing, but if it was to happen, I'd be kind of shocked, but I'd also just be like, really? Like, I love our twists and turns in Nikkei, but not this. Come on. Um, plus, I plus we know that um, uh, Indivilia, Nihilister, Chatterbox, they were all in contact with the Rapture Queen. They were. Uh, Liberello also was in contact. Um, so, yeah, I don't think that's actually the case. Yes, Neon, accept the truth. The Rapture Queen is an alien that crash landed on Earth. Humans captured it and turned it into a power supply, and that started the Rapture War. Wait, didn't you just say the Raptors weren't aliens? Raptors aren't aliens? That's a crazy conspiracy theory you got there, Anise. You should get some help. Oh my god. Look, the power source of the Ark is clearly something evil, and almost definitely- I do agree with that. And even I do agree that it is probably evil. The Rapture Queen is crazy. First, in Red Ash, it's established that late in the war, the Queen was on a space elevator, not underground where the Ark was being built. That also means- Okay, I didn't know that. Her, and that's not what started the war. Second, if the Central Government had control over the Rapture Queen, why wouldn't they use her to either destroy the Raptures, or at the very least keep them away from the Ark? And third, the heretics in Chatterbox seem to know where the Queen is and interact with her. If that was true, why haven't they ever mentioned she's in the Ark or attempted to rescue her? And how could they have taken Lily Weiss's head to the Queen if she was already in the Ark? Yeah. Red Hood wanted to destroy the Ark. Why? Because the Rapture Queen was inside. And for all we know, the Queen on the space elevator may have been a second one. That, that is true. I don't think it's ever fully said why Red Hood wants to destroy the Ark, but I think it's only because, of, like, people assume that it was because of her corruption. Um, and then when she comes out of Rappy and throughout, like, I think it's chapter... 26 or 27 if i remember correctly um she doesn't have any inkling of wanting to destroy the ark so it could be the corruption that i think was doing that because the fact that the corruption only took over a little bit so that was made after humanity captured the first one s tier f tier the ark's power source is almost definitely a very powerful and important rapture or at least related to their origins but is it the queen that's less likely but still it would be such a cool reveal i'm going to go with b tier Most i don't i don't know if i would agree with cool Right. I don't know if I agree with cool. It would be crazy, but I'd be like, oh, come on, man. Now, now we're going to battle in the arc against the rapture queen, blah, blah, blah type thing. 
mostly because I want to believe the truth is out there. Are you done, Rappy? Have you gotten all your theories out? Will you go bathe for the first time this week? Oh, that reminds me. I have so many theories about the Commander's Shower. It's hiding its secrets right off screen in the Command Center. And that's it. Okay, so I think we're done with the video, but um, I do like a lot of these theories. I think that the my biggest one is the Pina and Grave one, especially after these recent chapters uh, that have been out. Um, and of course, Anderson being the commander, I think is really good. Um, yeah, it sucks that Rappy is not Frisia. I honestly thought that that was the case, but uh, finding out that the dev team said, no, Rappy is not Frisia. Damn, that sucks, man. I actually was like, that would have been such a cool like little tie-in for Red Hood, but who knows? We still don't know why Rappy was chosen to be Red Hood. Um, or maybe we do. I don't know. I, I got to relook at some lore, right? So anyways, that's going to be it for today. Let me know in the comments down below what your favorite conspiracy theory is, or if your conspiracy theory wasn't listed and maybe I'll do a second follow-up on this video. So let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to check out, uh, expert era music. I've checked out a few of their, uh, videos. And I think they're decent. So anyways, thanks so much. Love you to death. And as always, we'll catch you in the next video. Please take care and be safe.